New Osmo Pocket Accessories from DJI, that coming up right after this. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ryan with Aerial Pixel, and today we got a new surprise delivery from DJI. I love getting packages from DJI, except for when the FedEx man does not leave it at the door. Just like almost all the DJI accessories and products that I've received, you have to sign for them, and unfortunately, I was not there. But after a quick trip to the FedEx store, I was able to pick it up. And here we go, we're going to open it up see what's inside. Inside the box, we have the Osmo Pocket Extension Rod and the Osmo Pocket Waterproof Case. Now this is going to be more of a, just an unboxing and a quick first impressions tutorial and uh, review. I'll get into these in depth at a later date. So let's start off with the Osmo Pocket Extension Rod. It might help to have my Osmo Pocket with me, so let's go ahead and get that. All right, inside box number one. All right, some foam, the extension rod, the instruction book, and that is it. So let's get into this thing. Looks like we got a phone holder and the extension rod itself. Oh, it feels really nice. I will go ahead and collapse it again. And let's see how the mounting goes. Looks like we have a release over here similar to their accessory uh, mount. Let's get the control dial off of there. And it looks like this just slides in like so, and then locks back into place. All right, let's go ahead and get our phone mounted in here. This is a uh, Google Pixel 3 XL. And fits just fine in there. Uh, underneath the phone mount is a location to store your smartphone adapter. So that's a nice addition so you don't lose I that. Found these results. Thanks Google. Appreciate it. So anyway, now there's a couple different ways that you can connect your Osmo Pocket to your cell phone. Uh, one of which is the original wireless module. Let me get that out of our mount here. Uh, um, you can <coughs> just simply attach the wireless module to the bottom of your Osmo Pocket and 
be able to run it that way just as before and then connect to the DJI MIMO app through the wireless adapter. Uh, another method to do it if you do not have this wireless adapter you will need to purchase separately a USB-C to a USB-C cable and with this you simply just plug in the USB-C on the bottom of your Osmo Pocket and then plug it into your cell phone and I guess if you are Apple uh, iPhone user then you would simply uh, get a USB-C to lightning cable. I'll leave a uh, link in the description below where you can pick up a couple of those. So with that you can still extend to the full length of the uh, extension rod which is about a half a meter. So make sure the cable that you get is long enough to support that. Um, and then once you uh, plug in and you power on So as your extension rod's connected, and I forgot that has to be powered on first, so make sure you power on the device and then you can plug it into your phone. Once you plug it into your phone, the DJI MIMO app will automatically launch and you're good to go. So now that we've got our phone connected, let's talk a little bit about the buttons. We do have on the top here a joystick, which is a great addition. Brings you back more toward the Osmo Pocket, or I'm sorry, the Osmo Mobile and the original Osmo devices that had that, uh, that joystick. So you can control left, right, up and down, all in one joystick. If you had the control dial before, you re you'll remember that you had to flip this switch to go between up and down and left and right. So that's a welcome addition. Uh, another thing you've got, you have a, uh, a C1 button here, and you have a the flip button here. That is identical to what you had on the control dial. One of the things they added here is a C2 button on the side, and the C2 button is a, essentially a mode switching button. And then lastly, you have a function button, and a record button. The function button is what you use to power on as well as cycle between your video and photo modes. And then obviously the record button is to start and stop recording or to take a photo. So my general impression of the new Osmo Pocket extension rod, it's very well made. I do have one big gripe though. And that is that it's not easily done to be able to put a microphone on it and still be able to use your cell phone. Uh, so a couple things, if you use the wireless module on the bottom, well that takes your USB-C port. Now I know there's a USB-C port here in the back, but as of right now, uh, DJI does not allow you to install the microphone adapter in there and it be able to work. Why they chose to do that, I'm not sure. Um, maybe they'll fix that in a later firmware update. But as of right now, you cannot do that setup. So the second option being would be to install the microphone adapter in the bottom, but then that takes your USB-C connection away. That also takes away the option opportunity to use this wireless module. So yes, you can do it. Um, one of the ways that I like to do it is we do have this mount for the Osmo Pocket that can be used independently of this whole system where you slide your wireless mod, uh, or I'm sorry, your microphone adapter in the bottom there, and then you simply uh, mount your microphone on either side facing either direction and plug this in. We've got an entire tutorial on this whole system um, but so then you can just simply take this off and use it that way um, and again this can flip directions so if you want it facing you 
you can do that if you want it facing away from you. You can also do that as well, just like that. So with this setup, we can then just slide this on the bottom and we have our microphone. But again, we cannot use a cell phone with this setup. So that is my big negative on this whole on this uh, extension rod. So, well, that is it for the extension rod. Let's go ahead and get into the next product that we got, which is the Osmo Pocket waterproof case. All right, now it's time to take a look at the Osmo Pocket waterproof case. Let's go ahead and get this opened up and see what we've got. We've got the case itself. Looks like we've got three fiber desiccant strips here. I think you're supposed to put those inside the unit itself in order to keep moisture and fogging down. And then looks like we have an instruction manual and that is all that's in the box. So let's go ahead and open this up. It says before opening the waterproof case for the first time, please update the Osmo Pocket to the latest firmware version in the DJI MIMO app. I already did that about a week ago, so it should be good to go. And here's the unit itself. Looks like we have the record and function buttons travel through. Does not look like you will be able to use the touch screen. Didn't know which touch usually doesn't work well underwater anyway, so that's probably all right. Looks like we've got a locking ring here on top. And inside, looks like there's a retaining ring to hold your Osmo Pocket in place. I hope that was, yep, that orientation. Let's go ahead and get this Osmo Pocket down in there. Fits rather snugly. And we'll put this retaining ring in here. All right. Now, I think in the instructions, if I read correctly, before we did all of that, like I just did, we were supposed to Okay, power on the Osmo Pocket and swipe down on the touch screen, swipe to the left to find the waterproof case mode and tap to enable. All right, so we needed to do that before we actually put it in the case. So just as a reminder, boy, this is rather difficult to get out. Okay, we wanna put a nice little uh, scuff on my rubber part there, all right. So far, first impressions, I'm not totally impressed, but swipe down. Nope, oh, that would have helped. And then we need to go over to waterproof case. All right, power off the Osmo Pocket, placing in the waterproof case. So we will power off. All right, now we go ahead and we place it in the waterproof case. Slide down in. All right, and we lock that into place. We'll go ahead and slide this on and secure it with the ring. All right. There it is. Let's go ahead. Moment of truth. Let's power it on. All right. Looks pretty cool. So it looks like function button is still going to cycle through between photo and video. And record button to take a photo. Let's switch to video mode, recording video. All right, hold again to power off. So it looks like on the case itself, they have two GoPro 
mounting attachment points. Looks like also a hole here possibly for a lanyard or a connection uh, point to tether it off on something. Um, and then the screen here itself. And obviously none of the touch stuff transfers through, so that is simply just a dis visual display for you now. And that is it. I will test that in depth further next time I'm at the lake or at the beach um, or possibly at the pool sometime. So uh, looks like, too, you're supposed to also put a one of these desiccant strips down in there as well, um, down inside. Just keep fogging down, keep the fogging off of the inside of that lens there. <laughs> All right, so that is it. That's my re review and unboxing of the Osmo Pocket extension rod as well as the Osmo Pocket waterproof case. Uh, overall impression of both um, the extension rod, I like the idea very well. They did a good job implementing it other than the fact that you cannot uh, view your source on your phone and use an external microphone at the same time. So that is the downside I see to that device. Um, it is nice that uh, they do include a hot shoe mount uh, for lighting as well as uh, if you have a microphone, the microphone is set a little bit high. I would recommend, however, using, um, using our microphone mount for that which looks like that and simply slides on the bottom of the Osmo Pocket. Um, it gets the microphone down and away further, so uh, if you're tilting up or down, you're not going to get your microphone in the way there very easily. It's not going to say it's impossible, but it'll be less likely to be visible. So, um, good product. This, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I. First impression is it's okay. Um, I have had screwing this uh, on and off, had issues with the O-ring that they have in here coming out and it is a little fiddly to get it back in. Um, probably after some use, after it's set in there a few times, um, it would be good. I would recommend putting probably some petroleum jelly or Vaseline on this ring just to make sure you get a good waterproof seal and then yeah that's about it don't obviously like you can't use the uh, touch screen anymore but again when you're underwater touch usually doesn't work very well so that's usually not an issue but it would be nice after you get up out of the water to be able to use the touch screen for cycling through uh, up down left right etc on your touch screen i do like the point the fact that they added the uh, GoPro connection points, that is always a plus uh, if you're going to mount it to a diving mask uh, or simply a, another, uh, another device or mount. So that is it, guys. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, we're always coming out with new tutorials and reviews and also new products for uh, photography and drone-related products. So make sure you click that bell icon at the bottom, be notified, and subscribe. And as always, guys, film safe and fly safe. Bye for now.